we made the debut of Charles the Butler Taylor. I forgot his last name. Uh, Charles the Butler Taylor. Pickles. Pickle. Hey. Let's see where that girl's going. Um. And yeah, that's uh, you know sometimes life comes in different shapes and forms. And sometimes it gives you options. You know, it's not that often. Pickles, hey! Come here. Come on. You know, life sometimes gives you options, but a lot of times it don't. But today, I acted uh, like a big, bigger man, responsible man, and I didn't want to force anybody to do whatever they didn't want to do. So I simply gave an option for Mr. Charles Taylor to go out there and tell how he really feels. And, and I understand that's not an easy task, uh, especially, you know, at the magnitude of, of the situation with millions of people watching and, and I'm there. And, and it's not an easy task for him. That's why I had to give him a little courage more than anything else. Uh, so he can finally you know, step up and say, hey, man, hey, Orange Cassidy, you're not my best friend. Miro is. And, and I knew he meant that because no man, no other man can make you say anything you don't feel like saying. And, and he said it, and I know he meant it from the bottom of his heart. He might have looked otherwise, but, but I'm telling you, it's just because he was nervous. And I give him the courage. I am tired. What's up, man? Look, we have the usual suspects. Um, here we, uh, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just giving a quick update of what, what we just saw on, on Dynamite. It's just a one man giving another grown man a chance, uh, for a better start. You know, I, you know what they say, you can only take the horse to the river, but you can make him drink. And that's what I did. I took Chuck, uh, AKA the horse, Charles, to the river. And he drank himself because he knew what's, what's, what was best for him. And what was best for him, and I don't know why I keep walking and my hand is shaking because I'm following pickles. Um, but that's that, man. You know, he made his own decisions. And I know he meant it. That's why there's no reason for me to be upset or to be doubtful of his loyalty to me. Because, I mean, just think about it. If you're out there and there's a man who, who has done everything, everything, that you can do well almost everything but he's done a lot and this man comes to you and gives you an option hey man i can take you to the promised land i know i know how to do it all you have to do is just you have to come with me you have to abandon the old habits you have to abandon the old you pickles why it's because it's a matter of pickles come here That's because life is, man. You gotta let go of the old habits. You gotta let go of the old habits in order to build new ones. And his old habits were Orange Cassidy. His old habit was uh, Trent. And we don't need them anymore. Because if in order to move forward, you need to forget the past. And I'm glad that finally today uh, was the day that Charles decided finally to be a grown man and step up and express his feelings towards his old friends. And now he's got me, man. I, I am his mentor. And you know, I, well, even though he's my butler, and he always can be my butler, well, until the wedding, I feel like I need to make a change for him, you know? I need to help him out. Because all these, his old friends, they did nothing for him. Clearly nothing. One got hurt, the other one don't care, because he doesn't care about anything. And you can't do nothing in this business if you, if you don't care about anything. But I do. I do care. I've said it before. I care about the numbers. I care about the ratings. I care about the money. I care about the, the merchandise. I care about everything. And in order to check to get there, he needs to get with somebody that it's like that. And clearly that's not Orange Cassidy because once again, the man doesn't care about anything except wearing the old same jeans that he wears every freaking time. You know, and you can only do that so much because as a human being, you want to evolve. You want to get better. Every single day you want to get better. Because if you don't get better, you get worse. 
and and that's 100 percent true and now i told chuck and he's gonna get better because he just he picked the corner he picked the corner by himself and and that's what you have to do sometimes right pick look at her pick up pick leve pick leve pick leve Pink Larry! <laughs> Pink Larry! Um, also, let's talk about my drip once again. Man, you know, I don't like, I don't like bragging about my drip. But I was really proud of my, of my uh, tracksuit today. My wife got it for me for Christmas. I've been kind of saving it for a little bit because it's a good piece of material. And I don't want to just wear it to wear it. And tonight, once again, uh, we delivered with yet another... Uh, Gucci tracksuit really really nice really really nice my Yeezys once again because right now I only wear Yeezys to be honest I wear nothing else but Yeezys um, and yeah at the end I had to show a little skin because you guys see how big are my muscle because my muscle is so big and you see the muscles and get popping through the shirt you know Well, no, 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 no. Charles is not walking pickles. Charles has no right to touch pickles whatsoever. No, no, no. Nobody touches pickles. Pickles is not a burden to me. Pickles is is like my child. Why would I want? Why would I want to give it to my butler? <laughs> no, no, sir. No, sir. Uh, yeah. What else is happening? That was a good impression. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the stadium. This is the Jaguar stadium. By the way, earlier I took Pickles to the stadium and she peed there. She peed on the grass with the Jacksonville Jaguars grass. And I'm telling you, next year they're going to win. I'm telling you this right now. You can save bet. This is like one of them Charles Barkley save bets. Pickles peed on the grass. That means they're going to they're, they're gonna beat so many teams here just because, uh, just because of their urine, urine power. Yeah, that's right. That's right. She did. She didn't ask nobody. She knows. So if you're if you're an NFL player, if you slide on the twenty yard <laughs> on the twenty yard line, know that Pickles was there. Come on, Pick, let's walk this way. Pick the bay. Pick the bay. Um, yeah. You bet Charles is hanging with OC right now. No way Charles is hanging with OC. He has no... Why? He already, he already said he doesn't care about him. Why would you want to hang out with people you don't care? Only won two games unless they go 0-16. They can't get much worse. Yes, they can. They can go 1-16 or 1-17. That's worse. They can go 0-18. That's also worse. So there there Itachi congratulations on your championship once again we haven't played yet but we will it's just building up the anticipation is building that's what I want you I want to psych you up like that I want to like build you up and eventually when we play you're gonna be so over it that you're just gonna lose that's my strategy there game over yeah that's right um, what else happened today yeah that was good man but because you want to sit down here babe all right, let's take the load off. Let's take the load off. It's enough walking. You walk around. Uh, you should wrestle Shaq. Why would I want to wrestle Shaq? I mean, I will wrestle him, but I don't think he's ready for it. I don't think Shaq, at the age of 50, as much as I love Shaq, my favorite basketball player of all time, um, getting in the ring with him will not last long for him at all. This is not basketball. You can't post me up here, man. You can't, you can't dunk on me. Well, yeah, you can't even talk, but uh, I don't think he'll last too long. I should have Charles hold up the camera for you. Well, I, I just, I like spending time with you guys. Is that too bad? Is that too bad that I just want to hang out with you and Pickles? How is that bad? That's not bad. Thanks for the subscription. Anti-life equation? Uh, I love you. Well, thank you. I love you too. FCF, yeah, that's a good info. FCF actually, it's, it's starting soon, next month. It's coming. 
uh, as you guys see on IG, if you follow any of the FCF uh, online stuff, you can see that uh, you can see they're in the bubble, they're training hard. But I feel like maybe I should make a stop one of these days, or weeks, or months. Uh, we'll see because we need to fire some, uh, some. We need to light some fire under their asses. I feel like they're just jogging around, throwing the football like there's tomorrow, but there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. You throw the ball hard every day, man. Every pass, Itachi. Thank you for the subscription. Wow, really? Nine months? Jesus. Thank you, Itachi, man. I'll play with you. I'll play you any day. Hey, Miro, you should make your young boy fight Orange Cassidy. Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm focused. Now we have to focus. Don't forget, there's a wedding coming up. It's a huge, huge thing for Kip. Uh, so we have to start getting ready for it. You know, there's, there's a time to fight. There's a time to forgive. There's a time to love. And there's a time to get wed. And the time to get wed is coming soon for Kip. And we have to pay attention to that as well because that's a huge deal for a young man's life. You know, I've been married many a times, but Kip's never been married before. And him at the fragile age of 25, he needs all the guidance. And also we have Chuck, uh, Charles, for him to run around and, and do some stuff for us. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did doing this just for you so you can be entertained and maybe i can be entertained who knows but if you do like you know what you gotta do subscribe like deal spread the rumors call your friend tell them hey you got another video do it right now stuff like that figure it out thank you goodbye